Have you heard of these four spooky scientific terms? Unless your costume of choice is a mad scientist, science is unlikely to be the first thing that comes to mind when you're celebrating Halloween. But that doesn't mean scientists haven't given a nod to this spooktacular holiday. So without any further ado, here are four spellbinding scientific terms. The Grim Reaper is usually associated with its dark cloak, great scythe, and good old soul harvesting. But did you know they're also genes? Well, Researchers identified a strain of fly that was resistant to cell death. This strain possessed a genomic deletion, Grimm and Reaper being two of the three genes mapped to this deletion. Halloween features many spooky families, from the Adams family to those central to the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. But did you know there are genes dubbed the Halloween genes, which were discovered in the fruit fly? This eerie family includes genes named Spook, Phantom, Disembodied, Shadow, Shade and presumably because they ran out of other options, spookier. The term zombie is littered across science. From zombie genes to zombie proteins and zombie cells, the term zombie is used to describe their varying behaviours. Someone must have been a fan of Bram Stoker to name a gene after his famed fanged foe. Dracula, aka DRC, is a gene found in zebrafish. Researchers found that zebrafish embryos with a mutation in this gene showed red blood cell damage. They were also comparable to human suffering from a specific type of porphyria that causes severe light sensitivity. I can't think why they named this gene Dracula. If you're still wanting your daily dose of science this Halloween, you can find out more about these terms on the Technology Network's website. Happy Halloween!